Hey poison lovers, Annie here in my natural habitat and I just want to remind you that sharing is caring and it's also the prescription for keeping the show rolling so if you like any of our videos please do share them on Twitter or Facebook or anywhere else on the internet you have friends. So thank you and let the killing spree commence. <laughs> Welcome to Pick Your Poison. Today we're talking about the sweatpants of the poison world, tryptophan. Every Thanksgiving, families gather to share a home-cooked meal and reflect on what their forefathers did to the Indians. Just kidding. Families gather to watch football, get in drunk and yelling matches, and eat food until they pass out. It's the American way. And that special ingredient in your turkey that helps you reach your post-dinner coma is tryptophan. Tryptophan is an amino acid essential to a human's diet, and it's naturally found in foods like eggs, fish, cheese, and meat. But you can also get it in pill form, and here's a cool story. I took it once, and it made me throw up but it's intended as a dietary supplement, sleep aid, or antidepressant. Tryptophan helps increase the body's level of serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that helps relay signals from one area of the brain to another. These signals affect brain cells related to mood, appetite, sleep, sexual desire, and memory. So without serotonin, you'd be a depressed, unsexy, hungry insomniac who can't even remember why you're so sexless, sad, sleepy, and starving. Seriously, sailor, get your shit together. So tryptophan is great, but like everything else on this show, too much of a great thing is never that good. Too much tryptophan can result in dangerously high levels of serotonin. This causes too much nerve cell activity and gives you what is very creatively called serotonin syndrome. We're talking sweating, shivering, confusion, diarrhea, hallucinations, fevers, seizures, and beliebers. Okay, that last thing isn't a proven fact, but it's not disproven, okay? So you put too much tryptophan into your body and now you're dead. Gobble, gobble! But it wasn't because you OD'd on that sweet holiday spread like a boss. You took tryptophan pills and they killed you. How did that happen? Well, let me paint a picture for you. The year was 1989 and you were in a serious emotional rut. Maybe you just saw Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and it failed to meet expectations. Maybe you're depressed about Millie Vanilli's lip syncing scandal. I don't know. Whatever the cause of your angst, you started popping tryptophan pills from Japan and were one of 37 people who died as a result. This one batch of tryptophan pills was mixed wrong and caused eosinophilia Ophelia myalgia syndrome, an incurable and sometimes fatal neurological condition. Now you've got chronic and debilitating muscle pain, cramping, nerve failure, lung failure, and death. You poor soul, you didn't even make it to the 90s when Zoloft went on the market. If you're too happy to deal with death by antidepressants, why don't you give baby powder a try? It'll wipe that smile off your face faster than you can say, of course I'll subscribe and share this video, Annie. It's the greatest thing on the internet, and I feel bad for anyone who doesn't watch new episodes every Wednesday. Also, don't forget to comment below and tell us what poison you want to die from next.